Hello everyone, I'm back again for Jing Money's hair project, Jing Money's answers! Our first question for today is from Rose. Pwede bang mag-swimming sa beach after one week magpareban ng hair? Actually, masama yun. Pero ginagawa pa rin ng mga tao yun. Dry na dry yan, tapos nag-swimming ka pa. Salt water, sand, kalaban yan. I would not recommend. But if ever you go swimming, gumamit ka ng sun protection for hair and hair mask. And then put your hair in a bun lang or wear a hat. Huwag ka lumabog sa tubig. Pag nag-swimming ka, hanggang dito lang. Lang may ass lang. Bawal tumag-touch yung ulo sa water. Kasi nga, it's salt water. And if that happens, rinse it off right away. From my midget bay. Wow, it's so nice. Ask ko lang po, anong magandang remedy sa dandruff? Kasi misa nagmamadali ka lumaligo eh. And you don't put enough effort to rinse off the hair. Pag naramdaman mo yung buhok mo, madulas pa rin, nararamdaman pa rin, may shampoo pa yan. So pag natayo yung shampoo, yun nagiging nade-develop din yan sa dandruff. Also, dandruff is also part of stress again. Ang stress talaga, ibang level, lahat na lang affected. You can actually start using yung mga anti-dandruff shampoo. And then when you wash your hair, make sure you rinse it talaga. Our next is from Pete. Mr. Kurgid, saan po nakakabil ng sea salt spray? Mayroon po sa palengke, Joe. Um, usually, supermarket or mga beauty, uh, beauty stores. Uh, or online, yan. So, doon ka makakabil ng mga sea salt spray. Uh, marami yung ibang klase yan. The best siguro, itest mo muna para alam mo na, ay, gusto ko to. Far Jose, um, hello, Jing. What's the best haircut for super duper thick hair? Pwede kung palayong king or... Jumanji. I usually ha, I give um, maximum layers and I remove a lot of weight. Kasi pag sobrang kapal ng buhok mo, tapos gusto mong mamukha manipis, tapos ang ginagawa, nililayer ng todo, it, it's not gonna help. Kasi syempre, pag nilayer mo siya, ang tendency nung parang siya nagpipiramid, so palaki lang siya ng palaki. Next question is from... <laughs> Bakit ganun? Yung mga pangalan nila sa YouTube, hindi totoo. Anyway, ah, uh, consider bang virgin ulit ang buhok if nakat na yung part na may kulay o nagamitan ng chemical. Depende kung ilan years na yung last mong color or kailan ka huling nagpalagay ng chemical sa buhok mo. Sabi natin, six months, six up ka na magkulay. Hindi pa rin, meron pang naiiwan dyan. Definitely, hindi pa consider dyan as virgin hair. Unless totally mag-grow out, as in totally, Walang, 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 wala na yun. Saka mararamdaman mo naman sa texture ng buhok mo. Can you do a tutorial video on how to properly cut bangs? And also how to make and take care of them? I also have a question. Is it really true that if you sleep with the wet hair, you've, you've gone crazy when you get old? My grandma told, alam nyo nang bata rin ako, ganyan sinasabi sa amin nanay, ng, ng lola ko. Huwag ka matutuloy na basa buhok mo, masisiraan ka ng ulo. Actually, hindi po totoo. Pero of course, masama yon. Masama naman talaga kasi yung natutulog ka ng masama. Yung tubig sa buhok mo, dumikit lang lahat sa unan mo. Magkakaamoy yung scalp mo kasi nga yung nakulob siya, yun ang amoy kulob. Tutorial for, for banks, we're doing an episode on that. So abangan mo yan, abangan mo Adeline from Moonlight. May nagsabi sa akin, pag may white hair ka na, tapos magpapakolor ka, mas lalo daw dadami. Totoo ba yun? Hindi. Kasi nga yung... Hereditary yan eh. From Martes Beboso. Anong pwedeng gamitin para kumpal ang buhok? You can start with uh, eliminating muna yung shampoo mo, yung mga product na ginagamit mo, basahin mo yung ingredients, kung ano yung mga mataas yung alcohol, ano yung may sulfate, stop muna doon. Para kumpal ang buhok mo, you can do your treatment regularly. Tapos meron din yung mga tonic spray that you spray it in your scalp para tumibay yung pagtubo ng buhok mo. From Shira Goa. If we have alopecia, but then nag-grow out naman, pero hindi pa masyado maba, mahaba, is it okay to ribbon? Hindi. Bakit ba lahat talang tao gusto magpa-ribbon? Nakakaloka naman yung ribbon lang kayo ng ribbon. Okay, unang-una, syempre, ang ribbon-ing napakasama sa buhok. Ang lakas nga ng chemical niya. Don't get me wrong, because we also have that services in my salon. But of course, we use brands that we really trusted. Pwede naman kayo magpa-Brazilian, kasi mas, mas lighter yung yung chemical niya, mas maganda, or kaya, if you're doing the rebound, make sure you know the product na ginagamit sa buhok nyo ng salon. From Danica Marie Bolosa. 
nakakadamit po ba ang buhok yung madalas na pagtali ng buhok? Actually, yes. Especially, magkakasplit ends ka dyan. Lalo na pag hindi ka nagsusupply. Or, ikaw yung tipong pag nag-ponytail, binaban mo pa. Pwede yung magputol-putol yung buhok mo. Pag ikaw yung tipong nagtanggal na yung buhok mo from messy bun or pagpo-ponytail, tapos pinilit mo i-brush. Na, na, yung cuticle mo, nabibreak yan. Next question is from Maria Katrina Manamtam. Ito yun na muna. Paano mo ba i-maintain ang straight na hair pag nagparibad na? Ribad na naman! Yung tubo ng hair, pwede po bang magawa ng paraan para hindi po maging wavy? Straight po talaga ang hair ko, pero nasira po sa relax. Hanggang ngayon, wavy pa ang tubo. Ganun talaga yun. Siyempre, kung ang natural hair mo talaga wavy. So, pabalik-balik lang yan. Pag ribad ka ng ribad, wala pa rin mangyayari dyan. I would suggest, embrace your waves. Invest on a good haircut. Kasi, pag tama yung gupit sa'yo, magugustuhan mo lang siya at sasabihin mo, bakit ngayon lang ginawa to? Next is from Alexis Ursua. Meron po bang solution na nagka-fly away po na hair? Depende kasi sa length ng hair mo. May length kasi when it touches your shoulder, tendency niyan because it sits on your shoulder, magka-fly away talaga yan. Unless then, yung hair mo buwaghag, kaya siya nag nagka-fly away. Um, yes, aside from hair using blower, you can use a fan. When you dry your hair, dry it in one direction. Hindi yung, ah, ganun lang, ganun, ganun lang. No. Brush it properly. Yung tamang direction. So, hindi, it doesn't go on, hindi siya mag-fly away. Hindi siya magkupo sa iba-ibang direction. Any recommendation po, at least give me some hair growing for a pock nut. I got it from my semi-rebound session in the Philippines until na po, panaitago pa rin ako. Oh my God. Yan, kakaribad nyo. Diyos ko po Lord. So, wala tayo yung choice, kundi antayin mo humaba yung buhok mo. Alamin nyo muna yung product na ginagamit sa inyo pag kayo yung nagpapasalon or nagpapareban. From David Spencer. Does hair coloring cause shedding of hair? Possible. Kasi nga matapang yung gamot. Aalamin mo lang pag nagpapakulay ka kung anong level ng peroxide na ginagamit sa'yo. Kung kulay ka lang ng kulay, wala ka namang ginagawang treatment or wala kang ginagamit na product para maalagaan yung buhok mo. Possible lang mag-numipis ang buhok mo. I hope I answer your questions and thank you for watching another episode of Jane Mwari's Hair Project. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.